In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Welcome to Mass this morning on this festival day, as we celebrate the Blessed Virgin Mary. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have done what was wrong in the Lord's sight and chosen what displeased him. Yet, as a mother comforts her child, so shall the Lord himself comfort us. So let us come to him who knows our every deed and thought. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who looked upon the lowliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary and chose her to be the mother of your only Son, grant that we who are redeemed by his blood may share with her in the glory of your eternal kingdom through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation to John. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple, and there were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder and earthquake, and heavy hail. A great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs, in the agony of giving birth. Then another portent appeared in heaven, a great red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and seven diadems on his head. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and to his throne, and the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, so that there she can be nourished for 1,260 days. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. King's daughters are among your honourable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. So shall the king have pleasure in your beauty. He is your Lord, so do him honour. The people of Tyre shall bring you gifts. The richest of the people shall seek your favour. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is embroidered cloth of gold. She shall be brought to the king in raiment of needlework. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. After her the virgins that are her companions, with joy and gladness shall they be brought and enter into the palace of the king. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Instead of your fathers, you shall have sons, whom you shall make princes over all the land. I will make your name to be remembered through all generations, 
Therefore shall the peoples praise you for ever and ever. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants for ever. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. As we pray to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we say with Mary, Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. Your prophet of old foretold a day when a virgin would conceive and bear a son who would be called God with us. Help us to look forward to your deliverance and to seek the fullness of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. Your angel declared to Mary that she was to be the mother of the Saviour. Help every person to be open to your word and obedient to your will. Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. 
Mary rejoiced with Elizabeth and sang your praise. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Help us to live joyful lives that sing your praise. Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. Mary bore a son of David's line, a king whose reign would never end. Bless all the nations of the world with Christ's gift of peace. Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. The child Jesus grew in wisdom and stature in the home of Mary and Joseph. Strengthen our homes and families and keep under your protection all those whom we love. Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. At the foot of the cross of Christ stood his mother and from the cross she received his lifeless body in her arms. Give comfort and healing to all who are sick and are suffering, and to all who watch the suffering of those they love. Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. The Apostle John saw a vision of a woman in heaven, robed with the sun. Bring us with all those who have died in the faith of Christ, to share the joy of heaven with Mary and all the saints. Lord, have mercy on those who fear you. Holy is your name. And so we join our prayers with those of the Blessed Virgin, saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And now we come to the peace. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God for ever. God, our Father, your handmaid Mary fed your son at her virgin breast. 
nourish us at this table with the bread of heaven and the cup of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, Almighty Father, ever-living God, to proclaim the wonders you have worked in all your saints, and on the feast of Mary, ever-blessed, to echo her praise of your loving-kindness. For you have truly done great things, and holy is your name. And your mercy is on those who fear you in every generation. When you looked with favour on your lowly servant, you remembered your promise of mercy and gave the world through her, your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Through him the hosts of heaven adore you and rejoice in your presence for ever. May our voices join with theirs in the triumphant hymn of praise. holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Mother of God, St James, St Hugh, St Mark and St Martin, may praise and glorify you for ever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. 
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us in eternal life. Amen. And we say together an act of spiritual communion. In union, dear Father, with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries, gathered to make Eucharist, hearing your holy word and receiving the precious body and blood, I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I am exiled from tasting the bread of heaven and the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptised and with your Son who gave his life for us. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in me, and send your Holy Spirit, that I may be filled with your presence. Amen. Most High, whose handmaid bore the word made flesh, we thank you that in this sacrament of our redemption your, you visit us with your Holy Spirit and overshadow us by your power. Strengthen us to walk with Mary the joyful path of obedience and so bring forth the fruits of holiness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory.
the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Father who has loved the eternal Son from before the foundation of the world shed that love upon you, his children. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the God-bearer, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Blessed is she who had faith, that the Lord's promise would be fulfilled. All generations shall call her blessed. So tenderly has he looked upon his servant. All generations shall call her blessed. Blessed is she among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb. All generations shall call her blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Holy is his name. All generations shall call her blessed. Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordia, Vita Duce, Do es mes nostra salve, At te clamamus, Et tules filies, At te suspiramus, Ememtes et fremtes in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego avocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos convete. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostente. has never been more needed. Meeting online or in church for prayer services and fellowship, loving our neighbours by offering practical support to the vulnerable and caring for our communities. The work of our church is reliant on people's generosity and we are so grateful for all the gifts we receive. This generosity is a hallmark of a lived out faith and a testament to it. If you are able to give to us now, here's how you can help. <laughs> 